What's up everyone, I am the Old Duck. Welcome to my review of the Diamondback Recoil 29 Bicycle, Mountain Bicycle. Uh, I'm actually recording this on my new Samsung Galaxy S7. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I noticed that a lot of people were still commenting on my review of the uh, Kent 29 inch mountain bicycle. I did a review of that a few weeks ago, or a couple of months ago actually, and it, I, I said at the time it was a really great bicycle, because it was literally like my very first mountain bicycle, and I say mountain bicycle, uh, not really a mountain bicycle, because it was a Walmart bicycle, and those trails up there, which by the way I just got back from riding on, it got destroyed on it, not destroyed, like totally destroyed, but it kept having issues, problems, derailleur coming loose, everything, so, um, Eventually, I took it back, and I uh, got a different bicycle instead. I got this, the Diamondback Recoil 29. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little bit of a cough after the who I had. And um, this bicycle is a thousand times better than what I had before. The Shimano Acera, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right derailleur that's on here it shifts perfectly I haven't had any issues with it sometimes it comes loose a little uh, screw here kind of needs to be adjusted sometimes but it's really no big deal uh, I actually adjusted it myself last night before I came out here like I said I just got back from a ride um, so it shifts perfectly I haven't had any issues with that uh, neither have I had any issues with the with the front gear either let me pick up the bicycle so y'all can see it just a wee bit better. Uh, let's see. This bicycle actually does have the disc brakes in the front and in the back. Um, the the I want yeah I knew it was a Tektros Tektros Aries disc brakes. Um, very good brakes. I actually tightened up the back brake myself last night. I did a lot of stuff on this bike last night before I came out today. Um, yeah. The disc brakes in the front and back work perfectly. Um, this middle shock here, which I'm wanting to because the bike with my foot because I, the bike has no kickstand. Uh, I loosened it up a little bit because I like it to be a little bouncy. I know some people like the, the hardtail kind of ride, but I prefer it to be bouncy personally. And, uh, yeah, the front shocks, I think, need just a little bit of adjustments because I can I can do it with the camera in my hand. It doesn't really work. Uh, but I think I need to adjust the front shocks a little bit, but that should be easy. I have to adjust the little screws that are right there. And the the tires, are these, uh, these Kendra tires, I haven't had any issues with them either. They're good tires. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's honestly it. I actually have taken a... I went OTB over the bars on this bicycle a couple of weeks ago. And it somehow was still functioning afterwards. Like, it didn't even get damaged or anything. Because the Walmart bike, that Ken bicycle, would have fallen apart. But this bicycle, it just takes a licking and keeps on kicking. So, yeah, like I said, this is a great bicycle. We got it for 600 bucks, um, And it's just... It was a great buy. It really was. It's a good bicycle, good solid bicycle. Uh, it's, if I recall, it weighs a little over 30 pounds. It's not, <coughs> it's not too heavy. I can lift it up with one hand, but it's not the lightest bicycle in existence either. But, you know, I haven't had too many issues because of that. And uh, the seat. Now, the seat is not the most comfortable seat ever. I think I might change the seat eventually at some point. But I guess these seats aren't really made for comfort because it's, it's a mountain bicycle. It's not like a cruiser. So, I don't know. I guess maybe that's just part of the part of the package. <laughs> All right. So, um, that is it for my review of, of the Diamondback Recoil 29 bicycle. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment box below. I'll respond as soon as I can. 
Uh, thank you for watching. I am the old duck, and I will catch you next time.